Harvard obesity and what he would teach kids to do is drive through the McDonald's drive through and pick him up food while he was <laughs> eating <all around. laughs> So, and this, I guess he never did this with me, thank goodness, because I'm a vegetarian and I would have refused to feed him junk food. But, um, he did, he just, he didn't teach very much for the $300. The only thing I really learned in that class was to be how to was to be mocked by 16-year-old boys who snickered at my lack of driving ability. Uh -huh. And I was tempted to ask them, well, have you ever written a thesis on how Goodman, Cheney, and Schwerner changed the civil rights movement? And I think the answer would have been no, they hadn't. Mm -hmm. Or I also was also tempted to ask, tell them that I'd been watching horror movies before they were born, <laughs> but, um, which would have impressed them more, but they didn't. Yeah. But no, I just kept my mouth shut, and Mr. Alberts didn't teach me too much, but he did, I will say, he gave me some behind-the-wheel time. Uh, so I learned how to drive. So, in theory, I learned how to drive. So I set up for my first test. Let's see. That's fine. So all I could really do is sign up for my first test. I didn't feel very confident about it. I hadn't... I can't even think of how much time behind the wheel I had, but really I was lucky because I didn't have to go to the classes and stuff like that like a kid would have to go to. At my age, all I had to do was get like a permit, which is just a written test and stuff like that. So it, it was pretty easy. So I figured out I might as well just sign up for my test and see how it goes. My first driving instructor who gave me the test was a really, really great guy, super friendly and nice and just real fun to talk to, and the test went really well. Even like parallel parking and stuff like that was fine because nobody had told me parallel parking was hard. <laughs> so <laughs> I just got the book how to parallel park. I was like, hey, I can do that. And so perfectly parallel park and all that kind of fun stuff. Everything went perfect until the very end where we had to back up at a 90 degree turn oh, and an angle yeah. to back up into a parking space. And Mr. Alberts had never showed me how to do that. Oh, no. And no. I was like, no. And so I, what happened was I knocked a flag down. And knocking a flag down is basically in your driving test is like the equivalent to mowing down um, a, a crosswalk full of elementary school kids. Oh. So oh. it's like automatic fail. Oh. So the driving instructor sat around and he looked around all conspiratorially and said, get out, get out of the car and put the flag back. Oh, <laughs> and, I, and I went, what? And I didn't know what he meant. And then he's like, oh, never mind. We better not do that. Yeah. Oh. Sat there and goes, I hate my job. So 